Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about rebounding, alright? What is it? What is rebounding? Okay, rebounding is when you achieve a certain goal that you've come so far from where you were and then you end up back there in a short space of time, really. That's what rebounding is. It's that bounce back that's not good. It's not. It's the bad type of bounce back, okay? So, today in this video I'm going to discuss sort of a little bit more about what actually happens and then why we do it how to avoid it, what to do instead. So what actually is it, like I said, it is when you rebound from achieving something great. So if you give the situation of someone who's lost a substantial amount of weight or amount of body fat, and they get to that place, and then uh, maybe within the space of a month, they're back where they started, if not worse. Uh, why does this happen? It happens because you think mentally, you're in a, you've been in a calorie deficit for so long. You, you mentally, you're all, all there. That does happen. It does have those effects. You, your brain does need a certain amount of calories every day just to sort of function properly. So you can end up having strange thoughts where you, you think, oh, I'm, I'm safe now. I'll never gain that weight back again. And then what happens four, three, four weeks later, you gain back another 12, 15 pounds, maybe even kilos. It can, it can, it depends on how badly you actually do rebound. So, how do you do it? Well, like I say, you get in that safe zone. You think you're safe. Instead of going the right route, which a professional should have already told you how to do, which is reverse dieting, you end up just going back to what you used to eat. You used to eat, you know, pizzas and things like that. I used to eat really bad food. I used to eat in excess of a massive amount of food which you don't need you do it unnecessarily you think that you can do that again just because you've lost that a lot of weight that is just something that happens to everyone mentally um and then sort of how how do you sort of avoid it it's it's a really it's it's tricky on the mind because you've been in the calorie deficit for so long you've lost a lot of weight you've done really well you've achieved your goal uh, you probably enjoyed it for about five minutes and then you want to now go back to sort of normal life. Well, it's not always as easy as that. Reverse dieting it's called. Okay, This is where you gradually increase in small amounts your calories uh, back up to what your maintenance level of calories would be for your new body weight. Not your old one, your new one. If you did it for your old one, you'd be back there again because you're a new body weight, your body doesn't need as many calories as what I used to need when you were at that weight so now you've maybe got a little bit more muscle mass or you maybe you know you won't need a lot more calories you've probably got a higher metabolism but you'll you'll not need as much as what you used to eat okay more than what you have been eating because what you have been eating is causing you to lose weight or lose body fat that's good however to get to a normal to a normal amount of calories that's going to allow you to sort of live every day and maintain that weight that you were at when you achieved your goal it's going to be very hard so the key to imp like sort of getting back to that level is to reverse diet reverse dieting is by gradually increasing in small amounts over each week um, maybe by I don't know, 50 calories 100 calories a week uh, in order to get back to that maintenance level first find it then work back towards it. It takes maybe another six weeks. It could add six weeks onto a training and diet regime you didn't think you'd have to do in the first place. But you do have to do these things in order to maintain what you want in life with a physique or a body that you have admired for so long, but never been able to achieve. And once you've been able to achieve it, you can't just go back to where you used to be. You've got to slowly build back up again. Okay. I speak from experience when I say about rebounding. Uh, mainly, I, I've been through this, I'm at this stage now as well. Uh, I About 25 weeks ago, I embarked on a 12-week tread plan. Okay, I got a coach, I wanted to do a photo shoot for my business, uh, and I decided to do it, and I went for it. I was so strict, I did it all, I got to the shape that I felt I felt comfortable that I wanted to be. It could have done with a couple more weeks, however, I did that time frame and I needed to do it. I did it. Do you know what? I was happy with myself because I'd never done anything like that before. Okay, it was amazing. Um, and then I had a bit of a break, and then after that, it all went downhill. And I'll tell you why. Okay, so in that twelve weeks, 
where I wanted to get to the leanest I'd ever got. I lost around 12 kilos, 13 kilos, maybe even more actually, 15-ish, because I went from 89 kilos, okay, it was my starting, and I got to about, I was about 77, 78 kilos on, like, dried out on the day of the photo shoot, okay, this was the best I'd ever been, it's probably the lightest I've ever been in a long, long time, uh, and it was amazing, the majority of it was fat loss as well, I wasted very little muscle mass generally due to the diet and the program that I was on it was really smart the way we did it um, and after that however my coach said to me look this weekend have some fun okay you've got a couple of days indulge yourself in food that's fine after that we have to reverse diet okay or you're going to go all the way downhill your goals for next year are probably going to go out the window you know you're not going to produce the muscle mass at the end of this at, that you want okay so what I did, being stupid, being 20, that's what I do. It's who I am, unfortunately. Uh, I indulged in that weekend and then got completely off the rails. After that, I just could not get myself back onto a, re onto a reverse diet program. I believe that I'd already gone off the rails within the first day. Okay, I was eating for fun. Okay, This was where it went from just eating food because it, was fuel to eating food because I wanted to challenge myself. I wanted to out eat the person next to me. I don't know why this became a mental, weird mental challenge that I had with myself. Okay, I was uh, eating the tea side delicacy, palm oil, okay, breaded chicken, uh, what's it called, bechamel sauce, and some cheese on top. Oh, it's beautiful. I was eating full palm oil, as easy as that. It's about the size of a 10 inch pizza. And it's like cheese and chicken, and it's just, it's ridiculous, okay? I was eating them for fun. I was eating full 12 inch dominoes for fun. One and a half dominoes of 12 inch pizzas, massive, ridiculous. And it got to a point where I was fighting people because they tried to steal something off my plate, okay? It's like Joey doesn't eat food. It's not good. I got to that point where I was just indulging so much in food, but not because it was a fuel. It was because I felt I'd missed out over the last 12 weeks. I felt like I had to get my own back because I'd worked so hard. But that's totally not the way to do it. You have to reverse diet. It's so simple. I went through all of that and now have no motivation to train. I've got my hormones probably all over the place because I'm not eating the right nutrient-dense foods that I need to be eating. You need to be in plenty of protein, plenty of veg, plenty of greens, Okay, those kind of things are going to boost your testosterone levels up in order to turn over your metabolism a little bit quicker as well because you metabolize your muscle, your muscle mass metabolizes what you eat quicker when it's being used through the right nutrient dense foods. So, when you've been in a calorie deficit for so long, you're depleting that testosterone level, that growth hormone level so much. That just just because it's 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 filling the gaps where your calories aren't, um, in order to re retain muscle mass. Okay, that's where you start actually wasting away in a way, and then if you don't boost that back up naturally, okay, if you are a natural athlete, if you don't boost that up naturally through strength training, plant loads of protein, or red meats, um, veg, greens, things like that, then it's not, it's not going to move, the testosterone is not going to boost itself back up again, it's going to stay there, and it's not, you're not going to, everything that you try to metabolise, you're not going to have enough testosterone to metabolise it, so that food is ultimately just going to go straight to fat storage, anything you eat, it's just going to happen like that, because you, you haven't boosted that test back up enough, now when I finished, I had that weekend of indulgence, it kept going on, it kept rattling over, I thought I'll start Monday, I'll start Monday, that old excuse, and then it got to, you know, three weeks in, I'm like, oh no, I'm like, I feel, I feel three times as fat as what I started, never mind what I finished. And then I was still strength training, just ticking over, because it was easy. I didn't have the motivation to do it at all, because that's what you do when you're over, overindulging carbs. You just get too sleepy, you get too lazy, it's not good. And then after that, it's... It's just been a, a repetitive cycle of struggling to find time to train. That's that's wrong. Got plenty of time to train. 
self-employed. I make my own time. I just create an excuse in your head all the time. It's not good. So when it comes to the moral of the story, rebounding, avoid it. Listen to the professionals. Listen to what your coach has told you. And that's in order to reverse diet, you must be strict again for like another six weeks. If you think of your average life expectancy, is going to be around 85, 90 years old these days with, you know, today's health. What's six weeks extra on the end of a 12 week plan in order to reverse diet that's going to set you up in better health for the remaining years? You know, by and large, stick to it. It's it's not rocket science. It's dead easy. This is why you know you have the dog the dig here. This is where people who do these stupid fad diets, you know, your fucking Cambridge, your Juice Plus, your fucking what's it called, fucking Herbalife. That's the fucking worst one. These stupid shake diets. Okay, there's no nutrients in them. They're not proper nutrient dense food. Why would you want to? Oh yeah don't want actual normal food. I just want to drink a shake all the fucking time. That's bullshit. That stuff is not nutrient dense at all. And it's not going to give you the nutrients that are going to allow you to lose body fat over a prolonged period of time. That's going to actually benefit you in the long run. It's a quick fix. But what happens afterwards? You're not, you're not going to fill yourself back full of nutrient dense foods, are you? You're going to indulge in the shit like I did. And then you're going to go back to exactly where you started. Okay. It's so important, even if you do choose to do to go down that life, you know, you do choose to go down that route of picking a fad diet, at least at the end of it, consider the fact that you will be back there at some point. So just focus on gradually letting your body know that you're trying to find your maintenance level again. Find it, stick to a plan. It takes about six weeks, okay? 20 weeks if you did her life. And... Then you'll be back where, where you. Well, then you'll be near where you need to be. You'll still have all the motivation or the train. You'll your body will be in perfect health. You'll be a temple. It'll be happy days. Yeah. So, I think that sums it all up. All right. Rebounding moral of the story. You know, don't do it. Stick to what professionals tell you to do. Uh, if you like this video, then give it a like. Share in your comments. Don't be nasty. Uh, and then subscribe to my page. And my socials as well are always, I'll try and put them in the bottom there. Instagram, coach underscore Harry underscore. Uh, Facebook, Harry Robots and Personal Training. And then uh, Twitter, well, I've got Twitter as well, Harry PTO one So give all of them a follow uh, and like my page, subscribe. And I'll probably comment something nice back as well. Cheers.